Welcome, welcome everyone. Thank you for being here this morning. My name is Amanda Silva Jimenez. And today we're gonna be doing just a really quick um, training um, just to recap on maximizing your social media reach and increasing the following. How do you increase your following and how to create a content um, agenda? So let's go ahead and get started. So having a social media agenda and having your content plans will help you be more consistent, have a more consistent presence. And there are two ways to grow, which is reels, even though some of us don't like to do reels, or maybe you do, I love doing reels. Um, but reels is a, is, is a way to definitely be growing now in this season, um, because short form video is what is attracting more and giving you that, that reach as well as um, having you know, a consistent um, uh, strategy, um, content, especially if it's value and so forth. So I would love for you to download your social media agenda. I made this um, agenda guide with lots of love. So go ahead, um, I don't know if you're on your computer, but if you have your phone with you and you're on a laptop or computer, you could just go to um, your phone, go to um, um, camera, view and then scan it and you should be able to go to that agenda because i would love for you guys to look at it while we are here i'm going to leave it for a couple of seconds um and for those that are here and you cannot take a picture of it because you're on your phone no worries or i don't know if someone here um you can scan it if you're on a computer and then upload it into the chat i would appreciate that and then at the end of course i will share um, the link and then you guys can download this PDF if you wish you don't have to use this agenda but um, it was one I created with having this in mind right or you can just get a pen and paper okay and then um, create your your strategy okay so um, how to create a content calendar first we have to define our goal what's our goal identify our target audience and their interest Choose relevant social media platforms, whether that may be Instagram or Facebook, which those are my two favorite platforms, but know where your audience is. I usually, um, I really like linking my social media, my Facebook with Instagram, the stories, because I can just do stories on one platform and I don't have to do them on, on Facebook because it's all um, synchronized. Also decide how often you want to publish. It is said to publish at least three times or two times um, a day. Now, no worries, because there is a way that you can um, um, pre-schedule, right? Um, your content, so you're not always on social media. There's a way to do that. And there's a training on, on my YouTube channel that teaches you how to do that. Um, also generate um, content ideas. Sit down, what are the content ideas that you have? Um, also, um, create the dates, platforms, um, links, images that you want to sit down. I always say take one day of the week, Sunday, if you'd like, or Monday, and create all of your content. Dedicate at least two hours to creating content so you're not overdoing it throughout the week. Because sometimes we can get like this brain fog and, and you're like, I don't know what to post today, right? That happens. Um, and um, obviously, regularly review your calendar based on what's trending and, and evaluate what's what are people liking what like I notice when I post things of my kids and lifestyle it gets it gets oh my gosh it gets 10 times more engagement than me posting something about a product and, I, and it's funny because I was talking to my sister the other day of how um nowadays it wasn't like it was before you know for sales or or getting people to be to attract your customers it wasn't like you just post a picture of a product and its benefits and people buy maybe before it was like that but now also with some training that i've been taking on sales funnels and so forth on, on another project that i'm doing it's not like it used to before it's going to take a little bit more the process um and people want to know more of you and I'll go into that a little bit more. So you have to identify what are the pains that you're going to relieve to your readers or audience? How are you going to make their lives easier? How that in mind when you're creating content. Think of, for example, my example would be um, the tea tree, for example, right? I'm gonna target people possibly who are over their 30s, right? Um, woman, 
So that's going to be mainly my target audience. And then who are struggling with adult acne. And I'm going to share my, my, um, my experience. Also, what transformation will they experience? Okay, this is, I got this, this from a, a funnels training, but it's, uh, it can be applied really to sales in general. Um, it can be applied to your social media strategy as well. And people will always um, buy from people they like, know, and trust. And as I, I was talking to my sister, I was like, it's no longer like I post a picture and that's it. People want to know who is Amanda, right? How can I trust her? Can, can I trust her? Do I connect with her? Do I think she's funny, outgoing? Uh, maybe some people may connect with me. Some people not, may not. You know, and we were talking and she's like, this is why I tell you, Amanda, that you have to be more vulnerable and share more of you. Um, she likes that type of content. She, she, she's like, I consume more of that content of who the person is and their brand and, 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 and how I can relate to, her, to the person more than someone um, posting a picture. And she was explaining to me that, and she's the one that's also also pushing me to be more, hey, share about this. Like, she's like, why don't you share A, B, and C? I'm like, I don't know if I should share about that yet. But she's like, let, you know, just open up a little bit more. Um, so it's a process. Obviously, it's not that I'm going to share everything, right? But people want to know who, can they trust you? Um, who are you? Can they connect with you? Do they like you? Do they know you? Do they trust you, right? So that is key to, to, to sales, to people, you know, um, doing business with you. Okay. Um, and it was such a, a good conversation that, that we were having. She was telling me that this lady she's doing, um, she follows this lady and she loves how interactive and relatable she is. She's very vulnerable. She talks about how she struggled with, um, drugs and alcohol, but how she overcame that. And that's basically the way she portrays, you know, the way that she shows herself on social media, she's helping other people. And she tells me, my sister tells me, she sells this, uh, she has, she's in another direct sale company and I already want to buy from her, even though I'm not really that interested. I just want to buy from her. Why? Because I trust her, I can relate to her and I'm not even interested, you know, like she's like, I'm not going to, you know, she already wants to buy that even though, right. So have that in mind when you are creating content. Also, if this is just an example, if my goal, right, is to recruit, okay, I'm going to talk more about the benefits of network marketing business model without mentioning so much the company, the name of the company. So for example, let's say you're like, okay, this week, I want to focus more on recruiting. I want to connect more with people so they know what I do, what I offer, what opportunity I, I, I am giving them. So start doing this, right? Start um, doing what distinguishes us. Okay, you could talk data about, this is misspelled, by the way, um, but data about, you can talk about what, what makes us different, what distinguishes us, talk about the golden rules, not many people have that, talk about the global expansion that we are having, I'm already giving you ideas, um, how has having a digital business benefited you, okay, also, um, take advantage of what we offer as an organization, we have an integrated That's academy, Talk about that. Talk about how you have grown through through these mornings, these personal development, um, these trainings. How has how has it has helped you? Share about that because people are going to connect with that, and that is something that makes us. I'm telling you, it makes us really stand out as a team in general, as the Kaidos team, which means a perfect time of God. So have that in mind you know, and share from content from here, what you learn in the Spanish learning morning, which is at 10 a.m., you know, um, learn from that and then share with other people, okay? Um, let's see. So this is a, some content example. This is an example. So um, you could share data, for example. Do you know that according to a market research report, the wellness industry is expected to continue its growth trajectory over the next five years, right? You could pose that question. And then the Global Wellness Institute predicts that by 2025, the wellness industry will be worth $6 trillion. That's some good data. Now, it might not be your style of content, but it's more of mine. Why? Because I want to share data and facts so that they can know, man, I really need to partner with a company that also is in the wellness industry. Not only beauty outside, but also wellness out, you know, within right? And if by 2025, we're 2023, they can see and they can have that vision of expansion, right? Um, so 
have that in mind. Share those types of data if you wish, or you could share, you know, really um, anything you want. But this is something that will educate them and also be like, what is Amanda doing? Well, what is this that is expanding? Right now, everyone, everyone is looking for another source of income. Everyone. It doesn't matter why, because of what the times that we're living in. And this can be an opportunity that they need, not only as money making, but because they need it. How many of us have seen or heard Carmen's testimony on collagen? Use those testimonials as well. How it has benefited her health, her health. The coffee, the coffee helps me personally feel, feel fuller. So that helps me. Give me one second. Let me, I'm so sorry, guys. Let me mute you guys all because I can hear noise. Sorry. Um, right? How the coffee has helped me, how um my hair growth, how some people are feeling better. Karen, um, I don't know if she's here, but she, her testimony how before she was, you know, very tired and, and in pain and thanks to collagen, she has been able to go to karaoke and sing and move as well as Carmen. And now that is her, her star product. Let me tell you, Karen is one of the top sellers and her key star product is collagen because she's part of the product. She has that testimony. So, she, you know, get your favorite product and, um, build it around that. You guys know, I love coffee. I build my brand around coffee. <laughs> I actually have a website, um, cafe y glamour.com glowing coffee.com. So, um, I build it around that, but that's just my personal right view. Um, and my personal view and how I like to build my brand, but you do however you wish. I'm just throwing ideas out there. Um, now what to pose, and I know we've reviewed this before, but experts say follow the 80, 20 rule, the 80% of your content should be value education, information, not boring, make it interactive, you know, um, put yourself in that avatar's shoe, you know, if it's a, a stay at home mom, if it's a, a working mom, or a man, what, whatever it may be, you know, sit down, identify who is your target audience. And we can talk about that later. If you guys have any questions, how to identify that, and then make it relatable inspiration. Nowadays, people go on social media, what do they go on social media for inspiration, encouragement, entertaining, humor. Let me tell you my best content. I had one video, well, three videos go viral, not viral in millions, but viral for my level of following, which is not that much on social on, on Instagram. So, but for my following, that's not that high a video. I had one video go super viral and then two that were okay. And it was all humor and entertaining. That's it. So also, you could do that. Something that I really like that some um, influencers are implementing is you're entertaining, but you're educating all at the same time. So try to find content that's that. And then 20% obviously will be more of business related, but always creating curiosity. Okay, so start creating your agenda, choose your top five products, you can write them down. Um, you know what, at the end, maybe we can talk about your your five favorite products. Okay, because I want you to before we leave that, you guys have something in, in hand. So tips to increase your following, we know it's real. So you don't have to always show your face, um, but you can um, do different types of reels of inspiration where you do a video and then you add some um, uh, written material on top, um, add music. So it doesn't always have to, obviously it's gonna, people are gonna connect more when you're on camera because they wanna know, like, know and trust, they wanna know you. Um, but you don't have to, to start off if you're, um, kind of shy or, or don't want to do it. There's ways that you can do them, um, where you're not showing your face to start, but eventually show your face. Okay. And always follow this sequence. This is what's going to help. And I tested it out. I used to do reels with no strategy, uh, with no hook, no unique selling point, no CTA. Um, then I have another Facebook account where it's more of beauty. And, and let me tell you within, I grew, I mean, I have to stay consistent, but I grew a lot there though. I dedicated about two weeks where I was just creating, creating, but my reels had a strategy. It had its hook, its unique selling point, which is your problem or pain point. And then you connect with emotion first and facts second. Okay. That's a, another side note and have a call to action. Okay. This is key. When they see that it's going to attract more people. Um, and then you're going to have an increased reach because you're following the hook, which is usually a question or a fact, and then go into the details, short, quick, and simple, and always a call to actions like, um, come in here if you like this or DM me. Um, also this other format, which is basically the same thing, but it's 
always share like the struggle, which is the frustration of your, of your, the person that you're trying to reach. And then you're going to offer a discovery, a solution. And then at the end is like, for example, right? I don't know if, if you guys understand, I hopefully I'm explaining this why, um, right. Today I'm here, I will teach you. So for example, did you used to struggle creating reels? Are you stuck in your sales because you're not creating enough reels? You see, that's frustration. I discovered, um, I started doing reels and, I, and now I'm having more engagement, right? That's the solution. And today the, the, um, I'm here to teach you how to create reels. This is just a crazy example, but I don't know if you guys follow like the story line um, so that people can, can connect with you. Another example, another example is, um, and I'll read this just as an example so you guys can kind of sort of get the idea. Do you want to know the secret of having radiant and useful, um, youthful skin after your 30s and 40s? The collagen. Yes, collagen has many benefits, including increasing hydration levels, reducing appearance of wrinkles, improving skin elasticity. And as a bonus, it can even help slow down the aging process. It is an amazing solution against aging. Get started on the path of restoring your radiant skin. Try our collagen today and see the difference for yourself. That's some examples that I wanted to um, share with you guys. So um, I've I had so many people ask me, how do you create those captions? So I don't know if you knew that 85% of people that watch reels do it without sound. Okay. So it's always key. This also helps boost, boost it because when you have captions, it will help. Also notice how red lipstick, red earrings, and red captions. It stands out. So you can download um, the captions reel. It's right here on the right-hand side. Um, it's the captions app. And um, I also use CapCut as a editing tool for my reels. Okay, I don't always use it, but I use that. Um, there, are, there are multiple apps that I also use, but specifically for this, is captions and then you could choose the background color so for example if i had blue earrings i would choose blue background um with the letter so you and there's so many options that you can do so make sure to download that app also you don't have to um CapCut does have captions as well so you don't have to download the captions app um i just personally prefer it because i i just like the layout but CapCut does have that option so you can just get one app and then do everything there so some ideas, you can do um, reels, you can do live, going live with your team. That's also going to help a lot. Collaborating with other influencers, right, in your account. Um, I haven't done this yet, but I, I'm eyeing some people that I would like to approach. Um, but experts say that this really helps people who are in your same niche to expand your, your reach. Um, lifestyle, and also you can always schedule your content and then your stories. Um, there is a strategy to your stories. Uh, I'm going to be doing a, um, I took a training on this and basically if I was to um, resume it, the way that your story strategy is identify the problem with the emotion, which is basically the same thing, but you take the person on a journey right throughout the day. Like if I've seen people, good morning, I'm here drinking my coffee, right? You're, it's like you make them part of your life. And it's more of, I really love watching stories like that because they literally take me in, take me in as part of their life. I'm here drinking my coffee. I'm here doing this. And then they'll share something out throughout the day. Um, and, they, and I really love the, how that sequence goes. Um, so you're not always on your story selling, selling, selling because people will just keep watch, you know, and all, they'll keep scrolling, not scrolling. They'll keep going to the side and they won't, they won't watch it. Um, also, and then once you take them through that sequence of you knowing you and, hey, I'm doing this today, I'm here with the kids, then you can um, add something about what you're selling. And they say that there's this really cool strategy that you, where you can use your stickers. And when you use your stickers, always try to give them three options. Three options, it does something psychologically to the person uh, when you give them three options in your stickers. Be clear and short. And like I said, take them on a journey. That's always gonna, gonna help. Hopefully you guys will see my screen. If you, if you guys can see my screen, please let me know. You guys see it? Yes. Okay, awesome. So um, there is what they call artificial intelligence. This is something that's go that is um, up and running now. A lot of content creators are using it. Um, I personally like it. Now I don't copy 
word for word everything, but I do use it as inspiration. So if one day you're like, you know what? Because the more original content, the more people are going to connect. You don't want to sound like a robot either, right? But um, this does help. So if there's one day you're like, man, my brain fog, I don't know what content to, to, to do. Easy peasy. Go to Canva. You're going to go to Canva. Okay. You're going to go to the plus sign right here, this plus sign. And then you're going to go to documents, doc, right here. Okay. And like I said, maybe some of you already know this, but some don't, I'm not sure, but here's, here's an idea. And then you're going to click right here on these blue little stars. And then you're going to go to magic, right? And I'm going to put, for example, five tips on vegan skincare since we have vegan skincare right i'm gonna hit plus and this li literally creates the content for you okay so five tips on vegan get skincare. out of here yes oh my God. you didn't know that okay yes i didn't know that okay <laughs> i'm glad i and shared you, it i know you mentioned it but i haven't seen it so i'm glad that you're uh, okay this and awesome, that i joined <laughs> awesome so right there, five um, tips on vegan skincare. This information, you can rewrite it to your own, use it as inspiration. You could do a reel out of this. You can do a carousel on Instagram, you know, where you have facts and people keep scrolling and they see all the facts. Um, so you can use this as well, okay? And you could do anything. Let's suppose, let's do um, another topic. I don't know, give me some ideas. Um, uh, um tips on okay well, let's do this amanda uh, when you uh -huh. get a chance can you go back because i joined right in the middle so oh. i saw what you're doing but not how you got there okay perfect so mm -hmm. let's go back absolutely uh -huh. so we're in canva this is uh -huh. for my phone we're gonna hit this plus sign right here okay okay and then we're gonna go to doc that's it okay uh-huh mm-hmm and then we're going to go to these little blue stars right it's here stars. at the bottom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And then magic right, the first option. And we're going to right there, you know, type something. So let's suppose. Yeah, this um, looks like uh, the, uh, what is it? The IA. A, yeah, uh, it's AI. I forgot. Uh -huh. Artificial intelligence. Mm -hmm. um, we could do um, tips on personal development. Let's do that. It could be any topic, personal development. Boom. Tips for, um, personal oh my God. personal development. Set specific achievable goals. Learn new skills and knowledge. Take care of your health and well-being. Girl, I almost fell off my chair. This okay. is pretty cool. Um, you know how much I have to think and plan and search and do things for my post? Yes. And here you have it. Here you have uh -huh. it. Thank you, Amanda. This is of great. Of course. Of course. And there are other tools as well that you can use. Um, there's, there's other, this is Canva only. There's a world mm -hmm. out there. I'm going to be doing, I, there's a couple people doing trainings on this and I want to be able to join so I can learn a little bit more and bring you guys, I can use, and then I can share with you guys. So, and, and these are awesome tips. Look at this, develop a growth mindset, stay organized, set feedback, celebrate your success and acknowledge your progress. So you can even retype this and make it as mm -hmm. a reel at a hook say here's three tips matter of fact these are 10 tips you could do um three reels out of this an example yeah. mm -hmm. the first three tips and the next three tips and then you could be like you could say okay um five three tips for personal development do the first three tips follow me on my next reel so you can learn more about personal development boom you already got the person if they're into that right there and then you share the other tips and rewrite it to your own, you know, a, a, a rewrite it so it can sound more like you where um, you're sharing your essence as well. So this is like having an extra brain as a sidekick. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, let's do, um, uh, I don't know, three tips on collagen, for example. Incorporate collagen rich foods into your diet, such as bone. Da, 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 da. Consider supplements with hydrolonic, hydrolyzed collagen, which our collagen has um, hydrolonic acid. Um, let's, we could do 
why no wait let's do this benefit oh wait nope let me go back if you go benefits we could do five so, benefits. and are you are you connected on zoom on your phone or yes. how are you showing us your phone you know because you always have these tricks <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll show you hold on give me one second so um five tips exactly gloria this is um, my I you, you know i have you. all the knowledge i just don't you know unless i talk i'm like i'm not creative i feel that i don't have the time and these are excuses because if i devoted the time to learn whatever topic i have learned in my life i should be able to be good with technology but there's some people that have um what can i say a better ability and I just feel that that's that's my weakness. And I'm I'm saying if I learn all these things, you know, hold on, people, because then you'll have glory for a long time. Yeah, yeah. I'll teach you. I'll teach you how to do. <laughs> and, and all it does is takes practice. Practice. Looking, mm -hmm. You know. Um. And and I know it takes it's time consuming. Don't get me wrong, because I learn all this by failing and hitting the wrong button and then figuring it out. Um. But I love it. It was like, I love tech, <laughs> right? Um, so right here, five benefits of using collagen, improves skin health. Collagen is a major component of the, of the skin, promotes joint health, boosts um, muscle mass, supports gut health, may improve bone density. All these are facts, important facts. So um, there, there you have it. There's some, some, and there's other tools, but here's the magic, right? So that's it for this training thank you so much for watching um and i will see you um next time